Hello and welcome back. To start up a little video about something that we call in Wing Chun the, the Jan Dai Lik, which means downward elbow energy. And it's something that's never really explained properly. In that you'll see people when they do Wing Chun, so right from the beginning during the Sand by foot. We're trained to tense the elbow. We move sal, drop into the fuk sal, so the fuk sal out, back round, while engaging the elbow. That's right at the beginning of the system, level one. And that somehow, in a lot of versions or a lot of revisions, of kind of gets forgotten. And so before you know it, people are, are working out here, thinking, oh, my wing chun is great. Oh, why am I getting pulled out? Well, what's going on here? Well, wow, where's my structure gone? And it's simply because the one fist rule was lost. Okay. So when you're doing the wing chun, your elbows should be on the neutral line of the inner gate and the outer gate right if you maintain those positions your wing chun will become an awful lot stronger and of course the way to do that is to learn the jandai lick and to practice sand by foot with tension in the elbow right so obviously you'd start off with the tan sound not the distance not the elbows on the outside line and the hand is on the inside line and the middle finger is through the centre line. All right? So don't apply that. All right? This is going to happen. It's there. All right? And it's there. All right? It cannot be dropped, pushed back. Okay? You take 20 seconds to get out on that, yeah? Once you're out there. All right? You circle, you circle uh, uh, your hand cell on the circling hand. Just normal, no tension. All right? Then once you're rocking your Wu Sao, uh, before you drew, pull it back, imagine you have a rope around your wrist and a rope around a tree. That means you've got to engage your elbow. All right? Don't start pulling it back like that, right? because that's using your body. It's cheating. <laughs> right? The whole point of the exercise is to engage the elbow and pull it back using the elbow only. Okay? And then by dropping down into your fuxiao, right, well, the wrist is on the centre, not the hand, the wrist is on the centre, and the elbow still is on the neutral, neutral line. We move that out. And as I move out, I have to bring my elbow against my body to a certain point. But then it leaves. Okay, again, the elbow is engaged and you stop at that one fist distance gap. Okay. So this means that when you start doing the chi sao, you want to keep that elbow in that safe zone, in that one fist. If you start doing chi sao like this, right, and all your elbows are all over there, what happens to this one fist distance? Without that, you get pulled, right? Without that, you get pushed, right? But if you build up your jian dai lick, and you use that jandai lick or that elbow position on the horizontal line and engage your hip in your suli tao stance. I know you can't see it because you can only see the top of me. Right? And if you can engage that in your suli tao, right, and then you maintain that position, right, what will happen is people will push you, and if you, you'll just move up slightly. See that little movement upwards? That little movement upwards generates the energy down to the body, down to the feet, and then brings it back up and you can't be moved. It doesn't matter how strong the person is, they could lift 400 pounds. If you use this correctly, and you train it correctly, then your Wing Chun will be unlimited. All right? Hope you understand the mechanics of the downward elbow energy. Jan Dialic. That's how it works. Alright? So if you see somebody punching like this, 
Then we're going to work, bring your elbow back to the one fist. Yeah, drive out. And when we come back here, we bring it down again. So we're always going back down to this one. Elbow, striking out back, 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 back. Don't be doing this. Right. What happened to your one fist rule? It went out the window, didn't it? Back, 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 back. Strike, strike, strike. Right. Right there in. Fax out. Right, just after the fax out, when you come round into jumps out. Right, elbow position, one fist, turn it round slightly, strike. That's the only time you leave. Right, and then return, and then slap down. That is your long bridge. But then you're straight back into it. All right. So there, are, if you're pushing out, and you're in maintaining it, then you've got an idea of where to go. But as a rule, don't leave that route, that that area. Just keep your elbows in where they should be, all right, and then learn how to develop the elbow so that you can do things like this, all right. So I'm just flexing my elbow, all right. That's what Jandai lick looks like. All right. When I'm engaged, the whole arm is strong, and I'm relaxed, the arm isn't. If you have any questions, or if I can help you in any way to improve that. Um, please just drop me a line. Obviously, be respectful. I, I do this for a living. I don't want some lunatic coming on going, Oh, that's not how we do it. You're doing it all wrong. I'm like, Okay, do, do, do. This is what I do. Right, what you do is your, what you do is what you do. This is what I do. And I've been doing it for a long time. So, if that's been helpful, good. I hope you can learn from it. Right, and I'm always open to suggestions as long as they're not rude. Okay, so I'll leave it on that note. Have a, a brilliant day. I will see you later.